Welcome biologists to this session where we're going to be taking a look at the importance of the cytoskeleton. Now students normally really struggle with this but there are actually a couple of basic facts that you need to know and they're either underlined in bold or in a red box which are taken directly from the mark scheme in this presentation. So the first thing we need to know is that the cytoskeleton has three main components. It's made of microfilaments, microtubules and intermediate filaments. Now the role of the actual cytoskeleton within the cell is that it's involved with whole cell support, the movement of cilia and flagella, changing of the cell shape, moving organelles such as a vesicle, it's a really good idea to give an example there, and also the movement of chromosomes in mitosis. That's in a red box, it's taken directly from the Mark scheme. That answer there is very, very popular on the Mark scheme. So we'll take a quick look at each of the main components and then a typical exam question that you might get on a multiple choice. So microfilaments, these are more involved with the changing of the whole cell shape. There is a bit of information here, but I've never really seen this in an exam. Um, the main thing here is that the importance of the cytoskeleton in, in its role. Here you can see an image taken in a laser scanning confocal microscope uh, to show you um, the microfilaments there in green and how they're involved in the whole cell shape. Next one are microtubules and again here is a beautiful image here showing these microtubules involved with moving chromosomes here in the process of mitosis. and. Um, they also move other organelles such as vesicles. Again, really important you give an example of which organelle is moved here. Next one is intermediate filaments. And this one again is involved in whole cell support. So again, as you can see in that image, that side skeleton stretches, the part of the side skeleton stretches the whole of the cell there, the intermediate filaments. But like I mentioned before, you don't really need to know these in detail facts. The main thing you need to know is the importance of the components and what each is involved with. So the flagella, the flagella is normally only found in um, prokaryotes and it is involved with the movement of the whole organism. So it helps, it helps to propel that organism towards, for example, nutrients or away or towards light, whatever it's trying to do. And the way that it does that is it uses this motor. Now, um, I have seen this on a, a suggest question before, don't need to know it in a lot of detail, but we do need to know that it uses ATP in order to propel the cell forward using the flagellum for movement. All the components within the cytoskeleton require ATP because they're contractile filaments. So it's really important here that we make the association between the cytoskeleton and the use of ATP, which is made through the process of aerobic respiration using the mitochondria. We've also got cilia, which can be found on the top of eukaryotic cells, such as those that, that line the esophagus um, and the nasal cavity. And these are involved, in, involved with the movement of substances, moving substances towards the back of the throat, normally mucus, to the back of the throat where it's coughed up or swallowed. So there we have the importance of the cytoskeleton. Um, the main things that we need to know, whole cell support uh, and the the role of the different parts, but not so much the key facts to do with each one. So here are a couple of exam questions that you might get on the cytoskeleton, just to show you if you want to pause that and have a go. And the mark scheme does follow on. So as you can see there, typical response with the mark scheme answers that we mentioned before. Uh, so guys, good luck with your exams, all the best, and make sure you're using those keywords to get full marks.